Running a Fever, episode 70. So today we're gonna maybe talk about a new strategy for structuring my physical fitness activity, my exercise. My name's Michael Davis and I have lost 70 pounds, eight inches of my waist, lowered my blood pressure, and just improved my life at the age of 52. I'm very active, I am very healthy, have a healthy diet, life is good. So come along with me on this journey and uh, you can travel it with me because I love my life enough to make it last as long as possible. I just saw a scorpion. I must take a picture because it's very rare. Can't remember the last time I saw a scorpion. Wow, talk about critters. Yeah, like I said, can't remember. I think the last time, and I don't know if I've ever seen a live scorpion. Even the band, I've never seen the scorpions live. But this is the actual creature, the original scorpion. I remember seeing a dead one in a dryer in Texas one time. This dryer has been in somebody's garage for a while or something, it hasn't been used. Anyway, I got a little video of him. So I'll throw that up on, maybe I'll put that on YouTube and uh, there'll be a picture with the show today. Well, northbound from the uh, botanical gardens. Usually wouldn't come this way because of the noise. It is early in the morning, so 10 after 6 now. And there's still traffic. Actually, as soon as you hear the birds singing, you can barely hear them because the traffic starts. But it's not as much traffic as it usually is because a lot of times I'm coming out here at rush hour. Obviously very noisy. Still going to be noisy today, though, looks like, along my journey. And uh, thank you for sharing it with me. What I mean by new strategy? Well, I'm probably going to change my workout schedule based on some new information that I'm getting. Now, if you've been on this journey, I'll just tell you, I've had a lot of steps and missteps and I've learned things from experience and I'm continuing to do so. And it looks like there was uh, some sort of race here recently, or perhaps there's gonna be one today. It is Saturday, so there's a good chance of that. I'm seeing little arrows painted on the trail and little, uh, boundary string and there's actually some lights the kind that uh, you see in construction when they're working at night those big lights and a little power, battery power pack or something and i can smell the honeysuckle it's too bad that we can't transmit smells well sometimes it's not too bad but you know sometimes it's like today it smells awesome I mean, you just don't get that. And a gym, what does a gym smell like? Come on. Definitely doesn't smell like honeysuckle. I'll tell you that right now. Point is, just because I'm getting information, as I've said before, doesn't mean it's good information necessarily. It's new information that I have to verify. Sometimes I verify from experience. Always, if it turns out, I mean, a lot of times I'll decide to do something and verify it from experience. Sometimes I have very little support for it other than I heard about it and thought it might be good so that's kind of what's going on now and I've been listening to a guy just not going to recommend him because he uses profanity but I put up with it because it's pretty good information I think I may just go to reading the blog and his books and things like that because probably doesn't contain as much profanity but but it's real easy to consume as you know by uh, listening to podcasts. I can listen to, to them in the car or while I'm working out. So anyway, that's what I'm doing now. I am experimenting with some supplements. And this is brought on mainly because of my uh, trouble with recovery recently. And this, it may just be because I'm, you know, it's been a long time since I've been in the gym. And another thing is I'm, I'm still worried. I'm, I'm, well, I'm not worried, but I want to know how to efficiently build muscle and lose fat. Some information that I'm getting says that it's better to actually just gain weight and then cut back. Because I guess the fat goes quicker than the muscle. <laughs> Now, that's kind of a yo-yo thing, but hopefully you don't do it for large swings. 
um, and maybe I just need to cut more for a while, but I really think I have depleted quite a bit of muscle. I did technically a cut from January, February, March, and I lost 70 pounds. So that's pretty huge swing. You know, the thing is I don't really want to go into build mode. I've got uh, below 30 BMI now, but after being overweight for so long, I really don't want to go back. I was, really my plan was to stay the same weight for a few months and lose weight and gain muscle at the same time. That may be more difficult than I originally thought. So for now, you know, my strategy is to lift heavy weights, large muscle groups, and uh, try to maintain my weight. Now, there's plenty of time to do that on my current schedule. The reason for this strategy change is I don't think I need 12 miles. I don't think I need to, to walk or run 12 miles a week. I mean, I've talked about how I want to do different things, different time, different types of exercises, maybe some games, bicycle. I, I like the walking and I like to do it on this trail the way we have been because it's pretty easy to keep track of my progress because of the consistent, the constant. And I'm getting pretty close to where I can probably walk a whole circuit in a day. So I want to keep doing that once a week. And the other days a week will be either lifting or some other activity. I'm going to always take a day off. It's going to be probably Sunday on most normal weeks. Saturday will probably be the day that I do the long walk just because it, uh, I mean, it's already taken me an hour, hour and a half to do this walk. I'm between 15 and 20 minutes a mile. That's a lot of time. So that's the plan. I want to get a little bit more detail on what my workout should be. Right now I'm doing just a few exercises haven't really split up because before now I was only going to the gym and I've only been going to the gym for two or three weeks now. I was only doing that three times a week basically Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and doing this on the other three days and that's probably all I need to do for a while, for a long while, maybe a year or two. Just building muscle mass, nothing more. Morning. Morning. So the workout is yet to be decided and not to say that I won't do any walking or running at all. But I'm going to do a different kind. It won't be this long distance. Uh, you know, maybe a more short, higher intensity. May hop on a stationary bike or something. So today we talked about the beginnings of a new strategy. Keep on keeping the fever. I will uh, talk to you next time. This is the Padua Podcast Network. Padua Media. Dot com.